Okay, so one last example here, talking about standard normal distributions and z-scores. And this is going to be a slight variation of the other problems. So, okay, so it turns out that scores on the SAT verbal test in 2002 were approximately normally distributed with a mean of 504 and a standard deviation of 111. And we want to know how high must a student score in order to place in the top 10% of all students taking the SAT. So, you know, you're about to take the SAT. You want to uh, uh, end up in the top 10%. Based on this data, you're kind of curious, you know, what do I need to score in order to make that happen? So the basic idea here is we're going to standardize, standardize, by using the z-score, x minus mu over sigma. And we have those values. We know that mu is equal to 504, and our sigma value is equal to 111. Now the idea is, after we standardize, okay, so there's our normal distribution normally distributed with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. What we're looking for is we're looking for that particular z-score. We don't know what it is, but we want that z-score that, that's going to um, put us in the top 10%. Well, so that means we want the area underneath the right portion of the curve to be 0 0.10. Well, the z-score, at least the table that I'm using, it doesn't tell us the area to the right of the z-score. It tells us the area to the left of the z-score. So what we're going to have to find is we're going to have to find the z-score so that the area to the left is 0 0.90, right? Because again, we know the area underneath the curve adds up to 1 in total. So I need to find that z-score so that the area to the left is 0 0.90. So I'm going to look that up in my table. Okay, so I don't think there's one in here that's exactly 0 0.90, but it's close. So let's see, 0 0.9, um, where's 0 0.9? It looks like roughly right there. Uh, there's 0 0.8997, and there's 0 0.9015. I'm going to take the closer of the two values. So that corresponds to a z-score of 1.28. Okay, so this is the z-score of 1.28. Okay, so... Um, I want my z-score here to equal 1.28. So there's my 1.28. X, that's going to be the, the score that you make on the test. That's what we want to figure out. So if I subtract the mean of 504 and divide by sigma, which is 111, let's see, after doing the arithmetic here, um, so if you, if you solve, you would multiply both sides by... 111, and then you would have x, uh, you'd have 1.28 multiplied by 111 equals x minus 504. So then I can simply add 504 to that. And after solving this, I'm getting 646.1. Uh, so it says, um, and, and scores on the SAT are not in terms of, uh, you don't get decimal points, they're only whole number values. So it says you would have to make at least a 647 on that SAT uh, verbal test to be in the top 10%.